In this video, we're going to look at a taping for a hematoma or swelling of a quadricep muscle group. Contusions to the lateral side of a leg are very common in sport, especially rugby. So if a patient presents with swelling bruise into this area, then you can call it like a hematoma. As long as there's no obvious bleeding present, then you can apply the kinesiology tape directly over the actual area of pain and swelling. In this case, we prepared an eye strip, slightly longer, and actually cut five individual fingers, and we've done that twice. So I'm just going to mark where the pain and swelling would be. So it might be in a few sort of areas. So the swelling might be even down to the actual knee. So if we just isolate this sort of area where the pain would be, then we're going to cover that sort of area. So the fingers are actually going to cross over the pain. So when you're looking at the tape, the pad tends to go towards the lymph nodes. In this case, you've got the inguinal lymph nodes. So the pad is going to go towards that. Turn the tape over and individually split each of the, the five fingers. Peel that back and then apply that proximal to where the pain is, like so. So that's the first part. So get the four fingers out of the way, otherwise it gets a bit fiddly. So little to no stretch. So no stretch on the quad and no stretch on the tape. So let's say the swelling in this area. So we're just going to cross that. You know, I've seen swelling so bad, but the knee is actually swollen as a result of a quadricep tear. Leave a little gap in between each one. And then the third finger. Like so. You can still ice directly over this tape. And it's safe to do that. Just be careful with a hematoma. If it's actually a, an intramuscular hematoma, then that's bleeding within the muscle. And um, you know, sometimes you can get a complication where there's intermuscular and it tends to bleed between the sheath of each of the muscles. So you tend to get the gravitational bleeding. The second tape, so that's going to be lateral and this is going to be more medial. So again, if I wanted to, I can move the four fingers out of the way. So we'll start on this one there. So peel that on back. And then literally just cross that area where it's all swollen. Leave on. I'd definitely leave this on for three to five days, if not longer. Probably no longer than five. And also the ends of the tape I've rounded off as well, because when you put your trousers on and off, it tends to lift the tape. So the ends, you notice, are just rounded them. So this would be two bits of tape, yeah, formed two directly over it. But you can also put another one there and come over it. Depends on how much of a hematoma you've got. Using the back of the tape, then just heat activate the glue just to make it obviously be careful with the patient because this might be a bit painful. And that should help reduce the swelling. More instructional videos by John Gibbons can be viewed on his YouTube channel and visit the Bodymaster website for further information about the Bodymaster method. Here you will also find information about courses John runs and books he's written which are available to purchase through Amazon.